ine kufika kuka mungu mene ndi machimba mutima mwanga kuti ndina promosedwa ah uh, ndina bado kubanja limene makolo bambu wanga ndi mayanga amene nditwa mapita ku church nthawi zose and for me to also hear uh, to know that i was saved I was, I was born in a family where my mom my mom or and father they used to go to church and uh, and for a long time I was just going to church uh, as my parents wanted me to go to church until I was a full grown uh, grown up boy ndipo ndi maziwa kuti anthu amapita ku church ndipo kumalalikidwa mawo wa mulungu koma mutima mwanga sinde na jiwe kuti kodi chipulo musonde chake i knew that people go to church and they hear the word of god but deep down in my heart i didn't know what salvation is koma uh, pamene ndina fika okhala sopano nyamata wa nkulu but when i i grew up um ndi Anali pa 24 December. It was on the 24th of December. Uh, 24th of December. I remember that was 2005. Ndi mamvera olaliki wapa um olaliki wapa Transworld Radio. I was listening to preaching on the on Transworld Radio TWR. Ndipo Mtu amene analalikira utenga wa siku limenelo anali site gamo. The one who was preaching the message his name was site gamo. And the utenga umene iye analalikira ndipo ine ndina umvera. The message that he preached and I listened to that message. Ah uh, unali utenga umene ama photocopies za iyo amene ndo otaika. So he was explaining about those who are lost. Ndipo mkati mwa utenga wake ana photo ko za nchito za zosiana siana zimene munthu ama atha kuchita ndi moyo wake so in the midst of his message or his preaching he explained different works that people do with their with their lives like kulezera like drunkenness soda uh, smoking uba uh, stealing nama uh, lying ndipo kumapeto kwake and at the end na foro kwa sababu hizi zose all these things mumalemba zikunena kuti mphoto yake ya uchimo ndi ifa so in the word of god it explains that the wages of sin is death so inayo so myself ndi nali mu sintu zimenezo i was in them and ntawi mene ndi mamba utenga umeneo and during the time i was listening to that message mutima mwanga in my heart ndi maona ngati pali munthu wina I was seeing as if there is someone amene wandi gwira pa mkono nkonena kutenda kugwira iyo ndi wakuba who is actually holding my hands and is actually talking to me that I'm a thief and ndi nali ndi chikonzekero chonena kuti pazimene ndachita lero pa 24 December and uh, I was saying that the things that I've done here on the 24th of uh, December, Mawa 25 December and kakhala kusanga kwa nyama tanzanga tomorrow the 25th of December which is Christmas I'll be a happy person <laughs> But because of the message that I received on that particular day I didn't even go and to, uh, to, to go anywhere Ntima wanga unakala ukugunda ngati pali wina wake amene akundira nkhula kuti zimene wachita lero uenera kugweza My heart was like someone was speaking that the things that you have done today you have to return back ndipo ndinate ngadi ndikugweza so i took what i had stolen and i returned kodi mukuziwa chimene ndinatenga do you know what i took ah, okay <laughs> ndinatenga nkhuku ya munthu imene anasunga chicken kuti ndikagulise ndrama zake ndikachezere ku i had stolen a chicken of someone and i wanted to go and sell that chicken so that i can use the money and uh, then uh, enjoy celebrate christmas with the stealing money and uh, ndafika pamene kuti of course ndi time ndi ngakwira nchito pa khomo la munthu wina during at that time i was working for someone ndipo ndinauza kuti basi sindifuna kugwira nchito so when i went i i told 
uh, him that I don't want to continue working. And he's, he asked me a question, why don't you want to continue? And he, I, he, I, he said, uh, where I am, my life is not happy to continue working. And he said, where I am, my life is not happy to continue working. So he asked me for a favor that I should stay for one week so that he wants them to employ someone that I should teach him what I was doing. Before I finished that week, I went somewhere for prayers. So when I was there, I also found the message Exactly the same message that I received on the on 24th. So it added problems to my heart that was already troubled and it exposed my life. And he said, if you are not going to confess your sins, you are on the way that leads to hell. From that time, I was living in fear. After one month, I was not working. I was still going to church. But one day, I went to a church which is uh, which was located at Musa. So, so there I also met a message that was preached. Uh, that message was preached by Mr. Stephen Harper. So it was coming from two books. When I received that message, uh, to me, that message was uh, connecting to the two messages that I had already received. And when I went home, I sat down. I also, I, I, I also started reading. The same verses that I received on that particular day. And every time when I was closing the Bible, it was like someone was telling me that I should continue to read the message. So that time, uh, I was sure that I am a sin. And because of the word that I've heard, if I don't confess my sins, I am on my way that leads to hell. So I knelt down. I prayed to God. And when I prayed to God, I started seeing change on my life. Because my prayer was the Lord Jesus Christ, the one who shed his blood, the one who took my sins for me. My eyes, but also my heart. I was seeing that all that work, he was doing it for me. Because of the sins that I was doing, the bad things that I was doing. So, I don't need to continue in those sins. From that time, that was 2005, up to now. I believe without any doubt. 
kuti machimwanga anakurukiro that all my sins were forgiven ndiponga kale lero pamene takhala malo ano just today as i'm seated here ndita palero if i die today vele hape ine ndo sangalala kwambiri ndikwati kuziwa kumene ndikupita because i know where i'm going ndina kurukiro machimwanga all my sins are forgiven osati chifwa ndi magwira nchito not because i have worked for that forgiveness osati ndine munthu wabwino not because i am a good person osati ndina chita ku nchito ina yake not because i have done something else koma chifukwa cha chi somo chake but because of his grace koma so chifukwa cha ku vomereza machimo wanga because i confessed my sins so sikrobedo changa chinaenda motero ndi njira ya itali ndithu koma sopano ndine osangalala that's that's where i that's how i come i came to believe the lord jesus it's a long story but uh, <laughs> yeah. 